Hey everybody, I'm trying something a little bit different today. I am drawing on my new Artisol D13 tablet, drawing tablet, which uh, the folks at Artisol were nice enough to send to me to do a review on. Uh, it's going to take me a little while to get the review done, hopefully next week or two, um, but I thought maybe what I'd do in the meantime is I'd uh, show some of the drawing that I'm doing on it and kind of give you guys a feel for, uh, for what it is. So what I'm doing here is I'm drawing Indiana Jones. Actually, I'm drawing Abraham Lincoln as Indiana Jones. Kind of this is the famous scene where Abraham Lincoln or Indiana Jones, whoever, is trying to swap out the statue and replace it with that little bag of rocks before he's chased by a boulder out of the temple. So uh, I started in Photoshop uh, with the sketch and I moved on to Illustrator. And like I said, I'm, I'm using the new Artisol tablet to do all this fun stuff. And uh, it is so much like a Cintiq. Uh, if you look at a picture of this thing, Nexus Antique 13, uh, it's hard to tell the difference unless you see the logo on it, you know. So very, very similar device. Uh, right now I have it hooked up to my Mac, so you can see I'm kind of drawing. I've moved it into Illustrator, so I'm adding all my, my vector parts. And I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I, I came to... Uh, to really get used to using it. Uh, you know, I've been using a Surface Pro, the iPad quite a bit for drawing. And moving back to this kind of connected to your computer feeling device was, was pretty natural. In fact, I really got used to having the buttons located along the left-hand side for doing different things like undo, changing to the eraser. There's one that's mapped to control. Uh, all, of course, all these buttons, we you can go into the settings and you can change all that stuff and, and that sort of thing. So overall, uh, first impressions are really good. Now what I'm doing here is uh, I'm still working on the vectors. I'm kind of getting Indiana Jones's coat or Lincoln's coat in there. Uh, and initially when I was doing this drawing, my first thought was I wanted him to be really lanky and have really long arms and really long legs and be just really gregarious. Think like Jack Pumpkin from The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's kind of what I was going for. And I think as I started to vector this guy up a little bit, I started to realize that it wasn't it wasn't there. I'm, I don't really have that feel for him. In fact, as I look at him, it's hard to tell it's Abraham Lincoln. In fact, it looks like Indiana Jones with a beard and some wrinkles and that sort of thing. I don't think I got his his face narrow enough and, and that sort of thing. And uh, so that was one of the ideas behind it. The other idea is I wanted to kind of have this kind of, uh, I don't want to say monochromatic feel, but I wanted everything to kind of be brownish kind of, I just wanted it to be brown. So when you're looking at this, the one problem I'm running into early on in this drawing is that everything is too brown and it's hard to find contrast between those things. You know, he's starting to blend into the background too much. He's, he doesn't look like Abraham Lincoln. I wanted him to be kind of somewhat out of place in the scene. And here he looks like he's right in the scene. So now I'm taking the vectors and I'm moving him over to Photoshop. I'm resizing him to kind of the page, which is kind of nice. And I think to myself at this point, it's not working. And I didn't, I did this over the course of several days. And I think like the next day I looked at it and I said, this isn't working for me. So I decided to redraw Lincoln and I want him to be more clueless. And so that's what I'm doing here is I, I forgot to record the sketch portion, like since I did this over a few days and I kind of fiddled with it. So you can see here what I'm doing is I'm making him uh, far, <laughs> just kind of unimpressed. Uh, and I kind of like that look on his face. Uh, also, skinnier, gaunter, um, big ears. And then when you put the Indiana Jones hat on him, it kind of works like that top hat to make him look even taller, like the top hat does. That This hat kind of has the same effect on him. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, I do this a lot in my drawings, where you get to a point and you're just like, this isn't, this isn't what I envisioned, or this isn't working the way I wanted it to. And uh, so I started redrawing him, and it worked out pretty well. Now, another thing I can say about this tablet as I'm using it is, is there's certain things I'm getting used to. There's a little scroll wheel on it that also acts as like a, a, an extra button, a middle button. And that scroll wheel lets me do some different things. One, it lets me zoom in and out, or I, I can tap it or long press it and, and change its functionality. And, and so, through, oh, I'm adding some chest here, here. Yeah, make him a man. Uh, and so when I when I uh, I could scroll in or out, another tap might let me scroll through my layers. Another tap uh, lets me change my brush size, which is really really nice. There we go. Now I'm just changing his arm color because it, I I needed that contrast. And so now I like I think I liked how he looks 
And so I'm now uh, just kind of adding all the textures in Photoshop to make it look less vectory. I also realized that it was too much brown. And so I thought maybe if I just hit it with color, um, yeah, you'll see as it goes, that doesn't work either, <laughs> but you'll see how kind of how that comes together. Um, so yeah, tablet is good. Uh, a lot of the functionality on the tablet is kind of awesome. Um, and I guess this is kind of standard Wacom stuff, but I haven't used a Wacom in, in a while. Um, so it was really nice just to go to something that's really built for artists, not to knock the Surface or the iPad, which are both great devices, but they're really, it's like they've tacked on the portion that, that I use and that artists use, like the pen and that sort of thing. They've kind of added that to a device as opposed to creating a device from the ground up just for this purpose. And and that's what this tablet is and some of these Wacom, Wacom, however you pronounce the company's name, their tablets are for. Uh, and it it really shows in, in some of these little nuanced features and just the customizability and, and stuff like that. Um, also, the sensitivity of the brush strokes. And so here we are, we're, at, we're near the end. And what we see here now is I, I just knocked the whole thing back to orange because I, once I turned it blue, it just wasn't working for me anymore. So here's the final drawing. Uh, I added a little contrast behind old Abe's head, got the orange in there overall. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So the Artisol tablet is uh, retails for $5.99. You can see the details. There's a link down below. Uh, I got to have the full review ready in a few weeks. Um, actually, maybe even sooner now that I've had some time to draw with it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. So subscribe if you want to follow along with that. And also leave any comments. Maybe I can answer some of those comments in the review. If you have any questions or hit me up on Twitter if you want your question answered faster. And that's about it. Thanks, guys.